I'm Jeff Levy. Uh, I'm an educational consultant based in Santa Monica, California. And um, among several of my uh, areas of interest and expertise is um, uh, college affordability and financial aid. Um, I typically work with um, both students and parents on finding colleges that are not only great um, academic and social matches for them, but also really smart um, uh, financial options for parents as well. Yes, happy to, Bob. Um, my colleague Jenny Kent, who's based in Bogota, Colombia, and I um, do, an anal do an annual analysis of about 450 domestic colleges and universities um, in which we um, basically are looking at their financial generosity. Um, we put this together into a, we hope, attractive and easily readable um, spreadsheet. Um, but what it enables us to do for our, our families is to help them understand if they are need eligible, the colleges that are most generous with need-based aid, and if they are not need eligible, if they're in that, uh, in that financial bracket, that economic bracket where they will be requiring merit aid to make college affordable, we also have columns that, that show the um, average merit aid award over time. We've been doing this for about 40 years now. Average merit aid award uh, annually, and the percentage of students um, uh, at that institution that received it. So um, I find um, I find this um, this analysis that we've done to be indispensable in my work with families helping them find colleges that are going to be most affordable for them. Great question. There are three things uh, that I would um, urge parents to look for. First of all, understand these financial aid offers are not standardized forms. Each letter of financial aid is going to look different from all the others. But you have to cut through the mess to be able to compare apples to apples. First thing to look for, what is your net price? There's not going to be a line on it that says your net price. What you have to do, your responsibility as a shopper, is to see what the total cost of attendance is for the year. And that would be a big number, and it consists of tuition, fees, room, board, personal student expense, books, all of that, direct and indirect charges, total the, um, the annual cost of attendance. If you subtract just the grants and scholarships from that total, that is your net price. Don't even look at the loans yet. Just subtracting the free money, the gift money you're going to get from the total cost of attendance is your net price. Ultimately, you want to be able to compare your net price at all 8 or 10 or 12 schools that your child is considering. Second thing to look for, your out-of-pocket cost. Out-of-pocket cost will be the entire financial aid offer, grants and scholarships, loans, student employment. If your child is going to make use of that. Subtract all of that from the total cost of attendance, and that's what you're going to have to pay next year, out of pocket. Eventually, you'll have to repay the loan, or your child will be, will be repaying the loan. And uh, they will be earning money that, uh, that will, in some way, be going toward their personal or academic expenses. Um, third thing to look for, very, very important. If the school has added a parent plus loan to this financial aid award, take it out of there. It, just take it, put it somewhere else. Anybody can get, any parent can get a, or almost any parent can get a parent plus loan. Do not be confused by this because it will look like, oh, college isn't going to cost you anything. Well, of course it will because you're going to be borrowing $40,000 per year in a parent plus loan. Use the student loan in the calculation, get rid of the parent loan. 
Um, there are lots of misconceptions. I like to think of them as bear traps rather than misconceptions, being the bear traps to avoid. And I think I've spoken to uh, each of these moments. First one is that financial aid awards don't look alike. Some of them look quite different. So cut through the smoke and try to compare the component parts with each other to really evaluate what this car is going to cost you to take it out of the show. Uh, second bear trap to go avoid. Um, um, the total cost of attendance that will appear usually on page one of the financial aid award, make sure, that usually does, but make sure it is the total cost of attendance, as I listed it uh, earlier. Tuition, fees, room and board, personal expenses, um, uh, an estimate of how much books will cost. This is how much it's going to actually cost you each year before financial aid. Uh, and, and finally, um, uh, not all loans are created equal. Federal student loans that will be packaged in the financial aid award are good loans. And you should seriously consider uh, your child taking these loans out. They're not going to be too much at the end of four years. But the parent plus loan that may be packaged in your financial aid award, as I said uh, just before, do not consider that. Rule it out. If eventually you need to borrow some money to help pay your parent portion, okay, consider it. But comparing apples to apples, some will include it, some will As your child's financial aid offers are coming in, hopefully they'll all arrive by April 1st, you will need to compare each of them in the ways that uh, I've spoken about because you will have the month of April to figure out not only which are the best choices for your child academically and socially, but which are the best options for you financially. Uh, that's got to be done by May 1st, which is the national reply date, uh, when you deposit at your child's uh, first choice college. So what this leads to is um, you actually should talk to the financial aid office if one of your child's top choices is not as competitive as a similar college that they've been admitted to, you should definitely talk to the financial aid office of that school. Say, hey, um, please explain why College A gave us this much and your college is not able to give us that much. Cost is an important factor in our decision of where our child will enroll and can you help, can you help us out to be able to uh, uh, to allow our child to enroll with their college. Perfectly reasonable question to ask. Um, finally, and this is really the first step, not the last, have the financial conversation with your child as early in the process as possible. The last thing you want to happen is for them to get into their the college of their dreams, for you to look at the financial aid offer and say, I'm sorry, you can't have that conversation about affordability as early as possible before the financial aid awards come in, and um, um, you will all be thrilled when the, uh, when the results are.